and the meaning of accounting ratio because we are talking related to management accounting so you will get more clarity about accounting what and all the accounting ratio the accounting standard whatever they specified which is clearly applicable for the cash flow analysis or cash flow statement any businessman if they are preparing themselves to produce a product uh, so which is a make buy means we are getting from the with the intention for resale so you will get more clarity Hello everyone you're warm welcome to introductory section of uh, management accounting fourth semester BBA myself Natesh Lachar in commerce Vidyashram for Skate College Mysu the temple of excellence and according to BBA fourth semester uh, NEP as per NEP syllabus uh, which is implemented in the year of 2021 so uh, Discipline, uh, which is uh, related the management account, which is related to discipline, uh, which is a core subject. Uh, so there are five units. The first unit is which is in introductions to management accounting. So you know the management functions, how it is working and uh, accounting function, how it is working. So you are getting it. There are major three branches of accounting. You studied financial accounting, cost accounting and one more accounting branch is nothing but your management accounting. And the second unit which is related to ratio analysis, a third unit cash flow analysis, fourth unit marginal costing and the last unit fifth unit is a standard costing i'm uh, moving one by one the first under first unit what exactly you can uh, study here the introductions of management accounting uh, you know there is a management uh, is uh, playing a very important role in the planning decisions uh, implementation coordination okay so which is related to introductions of uh, uh, you will get to know the meaning and definition in this unit and the objective what and all which is covered in the uh, management accounting what ob objective and the nature and scope the functions uh, the role of management accountant in the financial accountant financial accountant here management accounting management accountant uh, role is very important the relationship between financial accounting and managerial accounting what is the relations you will get to know and the relationship between the cost accounting and the management accounting relation because we know in the accounting there are three branches uh, financial accounting uh, cost accounting and management accounting the relationship between two two variant accounts and what and all advantages or dis uh, limitation or disadvantages of managed accounting which is covered in the first unit you will get more clarity and the second unit uh, which is a ratio analysis uh, when we are uh, uh, using a ratio which is nothing but proportions uh, okay we are trying to compare with the comparison okay in between two variables okay so in here you will get to more clarity on meaning and definition of ratio what exactly and the meaning of accounting ratio because we are talking related to management accounting so you will get more clarity about the accounting what and all the accounting ratio okay and uh, ratio analysis analysis means what as a management they are trying to go for analyzing the too many factors too many variables okay and the use and limitation you will get uh, more clarity the classification of ratio because the uh, ratio we are trying to classify it into number of types okay number of kinds so here the major in this specific unit uh, according to syllabus you will get you no know, the liquidity ratio under liquidity ratio what and all other ratio will be covered and the profitability ratio and the solvency ratio you will get more clarity now especially the problem is focus on conversion of financial statement you know how a trial balance and ledger ba balance format uh, so with the help of trial balance and ledger balance format how it is looking which is looking like a statement so with the help of a ledger format we are trying to find out the ratio so which is nothing the conversion of financial statement into ratio and the ratio into financial statement so if it is directly given the ratio then using the ratio we are trying to find out the statement so there is a equal chances for conversion of statement as well as ratio ratio into financial statement moving to third unit under third unit which is related to cash flow analysis cash flow analysis so flow we can identify inflow and outflow inflow means 
the cash is coming inside outflow means the the investment is going the cash is going outside okay so here the meaning you will get to know the meaning and definition of cash flow statement okay so the concept of cash and cash equivalent okay so what and all the cash and exactly liquidity position cash is always liquidity and the relevant cash relevant you will get more clarity and the uses of cash flow statement because application part is very important for any accounting or okay so that's what uses where exactly we can use and the limitation of cash flow statement the what and all the limitations will be there to uh, in the cash flow the difference between cash flow statement and fund flow statement cash flow statement and fund flow statement the difference you will get to know the provisions of indian accounting standard 7 okay so this one the procedure of preparation of cash flow statement so what exact format to prescribe format if there is anything uh, which is related to preparation so what exactly okay and uh, the cash flow from the operating activity because we are the chapter's name is a cash flow analysis we are trying to find out only cash flow related item so using a operative uh, activity and cash flow from the investment activity and the cash flow from the financial activity preparing a cash flow statement here they clearly they specify the problem is arising only preparation of cash flow statement according to indian accounting standard 7 because unless we are not following the accounting standard so the accounting standard whatever they specified which is clearly applicable for the cash flow analysis or cash flow statement Fifth, under 50 unit uh, which is uh, the topic name is uh, marginal costing you know marginal means what margin means what additions right so which is related to uh, the complete management which is the latest tool uh, uh, every company the management are adapting so here you will get to know the meaning and definition of marginal cost and costing okay both are different so the features of marginal costing what and all the terms are used in the marginal costing okay so here 100 percent you can expect 15 marks or 10 marks question okay and the using a profit value ratio pv ratio and the break even point margin of safety angle of incidence and the break even chart so you will get more clarity at the time of when i am doing uh, fourth unit break even analysis assumption and uses basis problem so the problem is which is based on the assumption break even analysis uh, decisions making make or buy because any businessman if they are preparing themselves to produce a product uh, so which is a make buy means we are getting from the with the intention for resale so you will get more clarity and the problem of decisions making which is because the problem basis only the management accounting is standing so of course the problem based on the decisions moving to fifth unit uh, chapter name is standard costing so uh, standard costing which is uh, uh, the name only suggesting for standard costing you because if you want to set any standard uh, of course we are referring a historical uh, costing whatever we followed okay and the, here you will get to know the meaning and definition of standard cost and uh, standard costing and what and all the advantages and disadvantages of the standard costing the preliminary in the establishment system of standard costing at the time of establishing for the first time what are the preliminary stages uh, view gone through okay now variance analysis uh, which is related to variance what exactly variations we are finding okay using a material variance labor variance and overheads variance okay now the problem focus on the problem on the material variance and labor variance so which is 100 percent expected so at the time of variance we are trying to go refer for the standard comparing with the actual so you know whatever the pattern you follow the same pattern will carry for the fourth semester here the marks detail you know there are two major components for 40 the total paper is set for 100 so internal 40 marks uh, external papers is 60 marks you are getting 40 how you are getting 40 there are two major component whatever which is applied at the time of uh, third semester first semester the same pattern will follow here so there are two components uh, continuous and comprehensive evaluation will be 20 marks uh, okay so which it can be a presentation group discussion the skill development uh, or assignment submission what and all 
So uh, internal assessment institutions will conduct for uh, two or three uh, internal assessment. Uh, the best two you will they will consider the 20 marks, 30 marks each internal. And uh, at the end of the semester examination, the university will conduct for 60 marks question papers. They are preparing 60 marks question paper. The total marks is assigned for individual papers, 60, 100. Uh, the internal assessment of you know that but there is a pattern uh, say, uh, there is one compulsory 15 marks the two question you need to attend up uh, okay each question will carry for 15 marks 15 into 2 30 marks internal which is scaled down to 20. at the end of the semester the uh, university uh, question papers pattern there are three parts part a there are seven question you need to attend any five question each question will carry two marks so two into five ten even the part b there are four question you need to attend attend any two question each question will carry for 10 marks so because you have already written uh, third semester second semester first semester the same pattern you are following here also and uh, part c there are four question you need to attend any two question each question carry will 15 marks uh, so altogether the total my external papers will be 60 and moving uh, the minimum passing marks you know there are uh, uh, out of here 35 percent uh, so out of 60 you need to get 35 percent which is nothing but your 20 marks uh, so 40 percent you are getting aggregated from the internal and what are the test book you can refer there are few question uh, test book you can refer anyway we are providing the notes uh, there are uh, dr maheshwari you can refer okay any other test book uh, you can refer okay if you want you can take this screenshot Okay, keep on watch for next section. Thank you.